what's popping everybody back with another video in this video we're gonna talk about yes jules hopping on snapchat to address some rumors that she claims keeps being brought up so we're gonna get into this clip where she denies ever sleeping with lebron james and she takes a little lightweight jab at joe button let's get into the clip and we'll talk after the video thing that i addressed and now the second thing that always gets brought up literally every single day and i'm so over it so i would like to address it now is the LeBron James comments. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you guys something. I know this is going to come as a complete shocker to you, but are you ready? Are you ready for this? Here's a fact. I have never in my entire life been alone with LeBron James. Period. There is nothing that ever went on there. Clearly, we were friends. I was working in Miami. I was one of the most popping party promoters and throwers in Miami. The heat was winning. People were going out to celebrate. I was the go-to person for, hey, where do we go? Where's the party at? Where are we having a good time, etc. I started working with them through Maverick Carter. Shout out to Mav. And so I was around and they supported me. And obviously, like, do you think that somebody that's married would tweet and take pictures with and be around and bring somebody that they're, you know, like doing something with around their family and wife? Like, no. I mean, unless they're really sure that's happened before but no like common sense why would why would that happen if if it just doesn't even make sense it wasn't lebron did i have relations with somebody or he's friends with or knows did i end up going on dates and trying my hand with someone that was around him at the time yeah i did we were friends we tried dating for a little bit had a great time ended up not taking it further than that and then remain friends. Sorry, not fun. I have the utmost respect for Savannah. Love her, think she's amazing. Think they have a beautiful fit of this stain being put on my name. The blogs, all these people like Joe Budden, all these people just insist that that's how I got to where I was today. It's nothing to do with my work ethic, nothing to do with the ability that I have to execute better than most of these men out here in the world. Nothing to do with the fact that I'm extremely creative and can connect the dots and can get more done than most people that I know in 24 hours. Nothing to do with that. It's just that I have a fat I'm Like, Lord knows how many opportunities and checks I've probably missed out on simply because dense gossiping, hating ass humans want to make up these narratives about me that make it seem like I'm a woman that's sleeping with a married man whose wife that I know. Like, thankfully, God, and I'm still able to persevere and build and work with people. And, and the people who know me know who I am, and know my story and, you know, why I am where I am. And it's because I'm one of the most hardworking, creative kind, helpful, resourceful, capable women, people, human beings that I, and that a lot of people know. And that's why I am where I am today. If it was just because I looked this way, there are women who are 12s out of 10 who have not accomplished what I've accomplished. I'd like to give myself a solid eight. There's a few things that I would change, right? But God makes no mistakes. So that's why I haven't changed anything about myself. But I say that to say like, my looks might help me get in rooms. Sure, I'm not gonna negate that fact. But once I get in those rooms, I make myself useful. I put my brain to work. I shoot my shot. All right, so let's provide some context for people that don't know who Yes Jules is. She's a social media influencer, mainly known as a party promoter in Miami. Now, this happened. Well, this whole situation is rumored. This rumor is like 10 years old. So you might not even be aware this rumor is a thing. I feel like, yes, Jules is kind of oversharing to a certain point because it's no need to like bring this up 10 years later. It's going to look like clout chasing, even if she's not clout chasing, because why even bring it up now in her defense? She's saying that people bring this up every day now who are these people that's what we got to get to who are these people that's bringing this lebron james rumor up in her life every day i don't understand i don't know anybody that's worried about who lebron james is sleeping with in in 2023 i don't think people are even waking up thinking like i think yes jules hooked up with lebron james now in yes jules defense 
when she does go live and does stuff on IG, they are there are trolls and haters that go in her comments and say it, there goes like LeBron James side chick and LeBron James this. So she does have haters and trolls that bring that up. And a lot of celebrities do this. They kind of live in a bubble where they think that the whole world is like obsessed over this rumor when really nobody in Boston, nobody in New York, nobody around the world is waking up thinking like, oh, my God, I'm obsessed with yes, Jules. And if she hooked up with LeBron James, like nobody's like thinking about that. Nobody's talking. If you go go to tw Twitter, if you go to Twitter, that's not a trending topic. Yes, Jules and LeBron. So it's like. To dig that up 10 years later to like just bring that up is just kind of it's going to make you look like you're cloud chasing, even if that's not your intention. Then after she brings up the LeBron James thing, she goes into bringing up Joe Button. Now, here's where we got to clear some stuff up. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I never heard Joe Button accuse. Yes, Jules of hooking up with LeBron James. Like, I don't I don't remember. Maybe I'm wrong, but if somebody in the comment section can fact check that now joe button did go in on yes jules on the joe button podcast and called her all type of names and said some disparaging things about her but he never dragged lebron into it to say lebron smash yes jules joe never said that joe button never said that yeah so basically you got like two sets of people you got people that do not care about this story which like i'm leaning into that group because it's like a lot of people don't know who yes jules is and i just doubt that, that people are obsessed about whether she did anything with lebron i mean me personally as a lebron james fan i'm more concerned about is this going to be his last year playing like is he going to retire or he's going to play two more years i mean he's at getting toward the end of his nba career that's how old this story is like he's not on the miami heat anymore he's been a laker for some time and he's you know, he just got eliminated in the playoffs. We don't know if he's going to link up with a new team. He's going to get they're going to rebuild. We don't know what the future holds for LeBron at this point. But it's like, who cares? LeBron is about out the league. People are more to show how old this story is in 2023. It's crazy. Like people, people care about who Bronny's taking the prom and and uh, if Bryce is going to like grow uh, taller and, and get into the league. You know, he's already kind of hit a growth spurt. Bryce is like super, super tall already. So it's like I'm just saying that to say a lot of time has passed since this whole Miami Heat, LeBron, yes, Jewel situation. Like it's so old. The story's like 10 years old. So but I do understand that she has haters and she probably was just in her feelings about like the haters in the comments bringing that up. But the average person isn't bringing that up. Now, another part that's crazy is. Like I said, I think, yes, Jules is suffering from a case of oversharing, like some things you just shouldn't say. I know she probably thought she was keeping it real, but this is where keeping it real goes wrong. She said, I wasn't messing with LeBron, but I was messing with somebody close to him, his friend or something. Why bring that up? That's going to come off messy and clout chasey, even if you're not trying to be a clout chaser, because what whoever this mystery dude is that was like lebron james friend or teammate or somebody that was close to lebron like that person probably done moved on got a wife kids and they don't even want you to bring that up you know what i mean so it's like it does more harm than good to like bring stuff up that happened 10 years ago or longer i don't really know how long ago that was i just know it was a really long time now the people that actually do care about this story now they're wondering okay who was lebron's best friend who was the, what's going on so it's like I feel like that part should have been omitted. Like she probably should have left that part out and just kept it about the rumor and her and LeBron or something like, you know, bringing up Joe button in the mix of that, then bringing up the LeBron's best friend. It's just kind of unnecessary. But again, this is like, like I said, this is a case of a celebrity social media influencer personality where in their universe, this is a big deal in their universe like like she said in the beginning of the the clip she said people bring that up every day so it's like in her universe people bring this up in the real world in reality nobody cares about this nobody's bringing this up this is not getting reported on every trust me if this was like always on my twitter feed then i'd be like okay you know she's acting like joe not only joe button but like joe biden done said something about this like this is not the on the top of people's brain like this is not really worth addressing is all my all my point is 
in her world, maybe this is a big deal and people won't like be quiet about it. And people, cause I have seen LeBron tweet, uh, some things and then people comment and bring up yes, Jules randomly, but it's not like a lot of people. It might be one, two comments on LeBron James feed about a yes, Jules. Like he's not getting flooded with yes, Jules questions. And she gets like maybe some haters and trolls that bring it up, but it's not the biggest topic in the world. So I don't think that was necessary. Hopefully she can kind of move on from this and not let this like be a thing. But I feel like the fact that she brought up Joe Button's name, that kind of opens the door for Joe to kind of like clap back at her and lash out. Hopefully Joe Button kind of takes the high road and doesn't respond, but she kind of opened that window, that door where he could can respond. So maybe look out for that in the next Joe Button podcast. He might address it. He might not. He might just let it roll off. But again, she kind of opened that door because Joe Button did talk bad about Jules, but that was a long time ago. That was years, years ago. So, so to the, the name drop Joe again, you're kind of Jules can kind of move past that because she's, you know, she's successful in her own right. We're not like, I'm not trying to say that she's not successful. She's done her thing. She's worked hard. I just feel like she doesn't have much to prove. So she doesn't need to have this like chip on her shoulder of like, proving that she deserves her income or the money she made she deserves that like you know it doesn't matter who who she may or may have hooked up with that that's really irrelevant because it's tons of people that like get famous for doing a lot a lot of hard work and it's people that get famous for doing nothing some people get so it's twitch streamers that's like popular for just screaming and yelling and you know it you know it's it's comedians that's on Instagram that's not really funny, but they do one skit that's funny and they blow up. So it's like I never want to get into a who deserves success, who deserves fame type thing, because it's just so it's it's pointless to me because some people work super hard and receive no accolades and they don't they don't achieve fame and success. And there's people that get lucky and get opportunities and and whatever category you fall into, it doesn't really matter. You know, the point is that, you know, uh, God bless you with success, whether you worked hard or whether you got lucky. It doesn't matter. So LeBron's moved on from Miami and he's a L.A. Laker. He's got his wife, Savannah. He's good. He's got businesses and all type of stuff going on. It's, it's no point in bringing this up. That's my opinion. What do you guys think in the comment? Let me know and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.